So after you log in, you will find your in your dashboard you will find apps. And what an app me uh, what what an app um, is an app is just uh, a project. So for for every project that you want to integrate um, uh, PayPal into, you need to create a separate app for it. And I'm going to be showing you how to use apps. And what's important here is that we have two tabs here, one for sandbox and the other for live. The sandbox is used for testing. The live, of course, is used in whenever you are ready and you want to publish your application where real people will pay real money and uh, uh, will use your, your projects or web applications, websites, whatever. Uh, so here on the left side, we have your account, we have the sandbox. So what's important here is the sandbox. Here you need to click on accounts. And you need to create two accounts. One account will represent the buyer and the other one will represent the owner. Because the buyer is going to pay to the owner. So you need to create two accounts. Let me show you how you can do that. First, you need to click here on create account. And now I'm going to create an account which is going to be a personal buyer account. So the buyer again will pay to the business account. So I'm going to here select the country. You need to select your country and then click on create. And then here it's going to say the sandbox account was created successfully. So this is a sandbox account. This is a testing account. So we need to create another account that will represent the owner, the, the business. So you need to click here again on create account. And then you need to create a new account, which is going to be this time a business account. Click on business. And then you need to select your country. I'm going to be selecting here the United States. Uh, and uh, then click on create. And then here it's going to say again the, the sandbox account was created successfully. And if you scroll, if you scroll, you'll, you will find all of the accounts that you have. So here I have these accounts that I just created. One is a business account, which is going to represent the uh, owner. And the other one is the buyer, uh, which, which represents the, the customer or the buyer or the user. So the personal account will pay to the business. And you need to remember these emails. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be using, of course, in in order to pay and in order to test, we we need to use the I need to log in to the system using this personal account. I'm gonna and I'm gonna be showing you that because the personal again the this account will pay to the business account. So you should by now have these two accounts on this on these three dots, and then click on edit uh, account, edit view uh, view edit account. You will find that this account has been initialized with a money with a uh, with around uh, five thousand, I think. If you click on funding, you will find that it it contain it uh, it uh, it has five thousand dollars. So this account has five five thousand dollars, and for the business account, it will if you click on funding. If you click on funding here, funding you will find that it has also $5,000. So the reason why this is important is because after testing, the amount of money will increase for the, for the business and will decrease for the owner, for the personal account. So this is the second step. The third step is to create an app. So you need to click on My Apps and Credentials and create a new app. So here what you need to do is that you need to click on create app here click on create app and you will be able to create an app so this is very very important you need to create an app and you need to give it a name i'm going to say here my project my project just my project and then i'm going to click on uh here you need to select your merchant or uh platform uh, and here i'm going to select uh, this option and then this is very important you need to select the business account so the business account that's that I have just created is this one is this email and and then just click on create app that's it pretty simple <laughs>